Hello my friends, hello my subscribers, my name is Adina and today I will show you how to hold all the major and all the minor chords in all different shapes and all around the neck which is called the cage system and uh, basically it means that you can hold the C, A, G, E, D shapes on the first three, three frets and after you can use all these shapes to hold all the other chords using the barre. So let's start with the C shape, which is this one. And uh, basically, uh, you cannot hold the C minor shape, just the C major. This is the C major shape. And after you can use the barre, which means your index finger is straight up and you hold the C shape with all the rest of the fingers. And you can push it forward and then you get to C sharp major. And after you can get to D major, D sharp major, E major, F major. And actually I like to hold the F major here because it has a little bit softer sound. If you listen here, because this is F, and this is F as well, and it is a little bit softer. Okay, the next uh, shape is the A shape and uh, you can hold major and minor position and this is like one of the most common way to hold the barre chord and then you can hold A major and A minor and uh, basically in flamenco a lot of people uh, holding the A major in this way which means that your index finger holding two strings and your middle finger is just one below because you have all the other uh, fingers to do other things. For example, you can mute. And also you can make colors. Mm -hmm. So it is quite useful. Anyway, so you can push this forward in a major or a minor shape. If you push it forward in a major shape, which means A major, sharp, major, B major, C major, and so on. And on the minor shape, you have A minor, B sharp minor, and after B minor, and C minor. And of course, you can push it forward and forward, and you can get uh, to all the rest of the chords. The next um, shape is the G shape, which is either this one or this one. So you can use your <coughs> ring and the little finger as well to hold down uh, the, the E and the B string, uh, but you can just use your um, ring finger just to hold the E string. Um, and it is not like a really common shape on the body because uh, it is quite quite impossible to hold it. It would look uh, something like this. It's not really clean and it's not so comfortable. So um, not many people are using this one. But you can uh, do the same and push it forward and you can uh, get to the rest of the chords. The next shape is the A shape, uh, E shape. And uh, then you can go to E major and E minor and uh, basically uh, this is a very common shape as well and if you push it forward you get to the chords like F major, F sharp major, G major, G sharp major and A major and you can do the same with the minor chords which uh, and the last uh, shape is the D shape and you can hold D major and D minor as well if you hold D major or you can hold it this way actually a lot of people are using this kind of fingering but because I was a self-taught guitarist I learned the D this way but um, I think it's easier like that one and it really didn't stop me to become a guitarist in the end so it's your choice it is the same sound and D minor and 
the trick is with this course that basically you can um, play with other people and you can see where they hold this kind of chords and you can go one octave higher and one octave lower and then it could sound really amazing. So I can show you what I mean using a loop pedal. Um, for example, if you hold an A minor here on the A shape, you can hold the A minor as well on the D shape. And you can harmonize things. And also you can hold the A minor um, on the um, E shape as well. So then um, I now show you what I mean. It is really great uh, way to uh, play and hopefully this information was useful for you and uh, see you guys later with another um, guitar video next Sunday.